If you're confused about constructors, do not fret. In this video, you're gonna learn everything about constructors. Constructors are one of those big words that come with object-oriented programming. The name constructor is kind of vague and a bit weird. So I'm gonna clear up any confusion you have today about constructors. And by the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to use them in your Java program. I hope you're having a great morning, afternoon, or evening. My name is Alex. I make Java videos just like this every single week. So if you're new here, then consider subscribing. Let's hop in Eclipse, uh, go to File New Java Project. We'll call it something like construction for constructors. Open it up and then create a new class inside of the source folder. And we're gonna call it shirt. That's the kind of object we'll make today. We'll make a shirt. And to see what else is going on, we'll right click on source again and make a main class, which will have the main method, which will let us run code inside of these curly braces so we can see what's going on. So now we have main.java and shirt.java. The word constructor is a lot like construction. You see construction workers working on a building. Um, teachers will construct curriculums. A construction worker makes a building. A teacher makes a curriculum. A constructor basically makes an object. Now let's recap what objects are. Everything in life are objects, pretty much. This mouse is an object. This acoustic foam panel is an object, which I'm gonna put right behind my camera in a second. My phone is an object, everything. So why do we have object-oriented programming? Well, if, if everything in the world is an object, we can kind of program everything in the world inside of a computer, hence object-oriented programming. Now an object in real life has certain properties and can do certain things. So we represent objects in the computer as having certain properties and doing certain things. So what are the properties of a shirt? Well, for example, the shirt I'm wearing um, it has a size and it has a color. So to turn this physical shirt into an object in the computer, let's add some properties. Well, we can say it might have the property color. So we can create a variable here called color. And we're adding this private keyword so that only what's inside of the object knows what the color is. Don't worry too much about that right now. If you're interested in about private and public keywords, um, they're called Java access modifiers. You can learn more about those um, in a video on the screen now. But our shirt has a color and it also has a size. So we can create a char or something, size. Those are the properties of this shirt. Now, what are the things that the shirt can do? Well, let's say you can put a shirt on, you can take a shirt off. So let's make some methods, put on, and I'll just print out shirt is on and take off. Take off. A trick you can do with printing out is type sys out and then control space and that'll finish it for you. Pretty cool little trick I use sometimes. So shirt is off. So now our object has properties and things that it can do. Let's try to use the properties and things it can do inside of the main class. And you'll start to see the importance of constructors. So we come into the main class here. To use this shirt, we have to create the shirt. So to create the shirt, we type the name shirt. We'll call it S equals new shirt. This is how you create any object in Java. And since shirt is in the same package, it knows what it is. So we don't have to add an import statement at the top or anything like that. Next to use things, we type s dot. And this brings up everything that the shirt can do. And we can see put on and take off. So let's put on the shirt, save it and run it. And we see shirt is on. Because when we click the green run button, we run code in here. We create a shirt and we call s.putOn, which goes in here and does this. So before we said that constructors make objects and this line is how you make an object. You say there's gonna be a shirt object called s and it's going to be equal to a new shirt. New shirt makes a new shirt. So if this makes a new shirt and constructors make new objects, then this should be the constructor and it is the constructor. Shirt is the default constructor, which means this is how you make a shirt 
by default. Just like how the put on method has these uh, parentheses, the constructor also has parentheses because the constructor is basically a method that makes your object and all methods have parentheses after them. So put on has parentheses and the constructor has parentheses. And you might say, well, Alex, put on is a method inside of this shirt class. I see put on right here, but I don't see shirt. Where is the shirt method? It's not in here. To make a constructor inside of your class, you just type the name and then finish it off just like a method. So if we print something out inside of here, and then run it, you'll see that when we create the shirt and call shirt, it now thinks that this is the constructor. And so it runs code inside of there. But when this is gone, then we use the default constructor, which doesn't have any code in it. It just makes, makes it. So this comes to the question, well, why would you ever want to make a constructor if you already have a default constructor, which makes objects for you? Well, you may want to create a shirt with say certain attributes. So instead of making a shirt and then setting the color to white and then setting the size to medium, you could say, I want a shirt that's medium and white all at the same time. So let's make our own constructor together. I actually haven't used the color and size inside of methods yet, but this would be as easy as saying um, set color, color, taking in a color, and then saying color equals, I'll call this new color, new color. We'll change these to static static, and then doing the same thing for size. Set size, new size, new size, size. This should be char. So if we use the default constructor, this is what we would have to do. We'd have to say shirt equals shirt, um, s dot set color to white, and then s dot set size to m. Change these to public real quick so that we can see. If you're following along, that's a really good, you will really start to see what's happening if you're following along here. We'll make a constructor in a second, but I really, this is really important that we do this first. So now we can see s dot color and s dot size. Save and run it. Now we can see white and M, which is what we set through the shirt methods. But this is kind of a lot if you just wanna create a white medium shirt. If you're creating a lot of objects very quickly and very often, then you might not wanna call set color, set size all the time. You may wanna just pass those in as parameters to the constructor and instead of saying, hey, give me a shirt and I'll do it myself, I can just say, give me a white medium shirt. So let's do that. Let's destroy these and create a constructor. So remember the constructor is just the name and then treat it like a method. So the name here is shirt. You say shirt and then treat it like a method. This is the default constructor still, so we really don't need to put anything in here. We could even just not have it, but this is here just so you can see it. So we can make another constructor if we wanna pass parameters. So we can say shirt, again, just like before. There's some red underlines because they're like, yo, this is the same code, why do you have it twice? Well, we're gonna pass in some parameters. So we'll say um, we can pass in a color. Um, you could stop here. You could just pass a color or you could add the size as well. Size. If we save this and run it, instead of using this constructor, now we can use 
This one, just like any method, we see there's two parameters, color and size. So we'll just pass in those two parameters. Say white and M. If we save it and run it, we get null. And that's kind of weird, right? Well, we called the constructor. We say shirt S equals new shirt with two parameters. Well, I know there's a constructor with two parameters here, so that's what we'll use. But we're not actually doing anything with the color and size. We're just passing it and then making an object. We're not setting it, so we got to set it. So we'll say that color equals the color, and then the size equals the size. And this is where it gets into, well, the name here is the same as the name up here. There's a way to get around that using the this keyword, but I'm just going to change this to new color and new size, and then replace that here. Okay, so now if we save it and run it, then we get white M. So remember, all a constructor does is it makes an object for you. That's why if you create like a, a scanner, scan equals new scanner, this scanner, I mean, if we import it and everything, inside the scanner class, just like inside the shirt class, it has a bunch of different constructors too. So it has, um, a scanner with a file that you pass into it, um, a constructor scanner with the input stream, all these. So you can pass a path and a char set, you could put a file and a string. These are all constructors for a scanner. So just like we have shirt, it has a bunch of these that pass different parameters inside. All a constructor does is make an object. And you can have as many as you want, passing different things. And yeah, that's, that's basically it. If this was helpful, please leave a like. I've had a lot of requests to do this video on constructors in Java. So yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.